74. Selling at 74 to book. Before this morning's business is done, a lot of money will have changed hands here. More than a million pounds, although there's not a banknote or a cheque to be seen. These men are buying and selling hundreds of tons of Camellia sinensis, more commonly called tea. For hundreds of years, a large part of the world's tea crop has been bought and sold in the city of London. Although most of Britain's tea comes from India or Sri Lanka, Ceylon as it used to be called, and Africa, tea is grown in many other parts of the world. Okay. 65 a half. Oh, no. 65 a half, it goes to Meriden. 65 a half, it goes to Meriden. The dust one, 68. In the days preceding this sale, samples of the teas on offer here will have been tasted by the buyers. And a PS2 at 57 it was, Brooke. Thank you. Selling at 7. That is 57 sold. That's Brooke. Only a week or so ago, some of the tea now being sold arrived at the port of Bristol's Avonmouth docks. A ship like this would make the journey from Calcutta or Colombo in five or six weeks, a little less from East Africa. The Galway arrived at Avonmouth with a mixed cargo, including 15,000 chests of tea. Not as beautiful a ship as the old tea clippers, perhaps, but bigger, faster, and a lot more comfortable for the crew. Side, the tea is taken away for storage out of the weather. Each chest is marked with the information that buyers and brokers will need. The name of the estate and invoice number, the grade of leaf, weights and the ship's reference number and the date of sailing. A pallet usually carries 20 chests, about a ton of tea. All the chests containing a particular grade of tea and coming from one estate at any one time are called a break. A break will usually be made up of from one to five pallets. That is something between 20 and 100 chests. Samples are drawn from each break as soon as it reaches the warehouse. These samples are made available to buyers through the services of the Tea Clearing House in London. The catalogues for the auction are prepared by the selling brokers to give buyers all the available information to assist them in making their selection. The samples enable them to make their final choice. 53, half. Half. No division. I can't divide it. The buyers at the auction are the buying brokers and tea buyers who represent the companies that will blend, pack and distribute the tea. Many of these companies have been household names for generations now. The tea buyers and the blenders use their skill and experience to taste and value the tea and to assess its suitability for inclusion in one of their company's blends or perhaps for a particular market abroad. About one-tenth of the tea that comes to Britain is re-exported. Strong strike, 
a popular blend of tea may contain 20 or 30 individual original teas from a number of different countries. Each will provide a measure of taste, fragrance, strength and good colour. Of course, great care must be taken to make the tea in exactly the same way each time. The same weight of tea, the same amount of milk. The blender's skill lies in keeping the distinctive character and quality of the blend stable throughout the year. For such indeed is the demand for tea in Britain, over 400 million pounds a year, that no one estate could possibly supply sufficient leaf for even a modest selling blend. Some original teas are seasonal, and of course the weather will also vary from season to season, affecting both production and quality. Once the buyer is satisfied, a small quantity of the blend is made up. It will represent in miniature what the factory will later pack in bulk. And it will be tasted to check its quality against the factory's previous blends. Any necessary adjustments will be made to the recipe and the mixing sheet sent out to the factory. The mixing sheet lists the teas which will make up the blend and tells the factory in which warehouse they are stored. The chests are drawn from stock and the process of bulk blending begins. All the various teas which go to make up the blend, the contents of about a hundred chests, are then thoroughly mixed in a large rotating drum. From the mixing drums, the tea goes into hoppers, which feed the high-speed packing machinery on the floor below. retail market is still sold in the familiar quarter pound packets. But tea bags are becoming increasingly popular in Britain. Although slightly more expensive, they are economical, convenient to use, and easy to dispose of after brewing up. The average adult Briton drinks about 1800 cups of tea every year about five cups a day, every day. That's a lot of tea to make the quick but complicated journey from ship to shelf. So that you can always be sure of getting a good cup of tea whenever you want it. <laughs> 